Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, to whom all praise is due, and I forever thank Allah for our leader and teacher, Messenger Elijah Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. I thank Allah for your presence, for being present here today, what few it is. I thank Allah for you and pray that you enter your gate. As the Quran says, and everyone know that drinking fountain out of the 12 tribes. Yes, sir. Right. So I pray that you drink out of your fountain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Right. But according to the words of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he said, let's build our own holy city. That's right. That's right. The one there is all right for, for the time that it has been. We need our own city. That's right. That's it. So no devils can enter it. Yes, sir. That's right. So I thank you uh, for sitting, listening. I'm not going to talk. Sitting, listening so patiently at Brother Omar, yes, Minister Omar, for what he was saying. I was sitting back there in the back listening at him. I've been listening all around everywhere I turn. I listen at him. Yes, sir. I thank Allah for him. Let's give him another round. He did a nice, yes, sir. nice, good job for us today. Yes, sir. We need about just 50 like that. Yes, sir. That's right. I don't need a whole lot of men. Just a few of them. That's right. And we'll go to heaven on a cloud. Yes, sir. Ride in your chariot and get your golden shoes. Yes, sir. Crown, your starry crown. Yes, sir. Your long white robe. Not a dress, but a robe. Right, yes, sir. That's right. Teach me. And get them. Women folks wear dresses. That's right. That's right. They're not made for men. That's right. And, uh, well, I, I feel good over what he says. Yes, now, how do you feel about what he says? Praises to Allah. Uh, I'm going to call the secretary here to you for just a minute or two, and then I will, uh, after him, I will say a word for about three minutes, and we shall dismiss. Where is secretary? Ha. We, uh, he will let you know what is what. I think we all is acquainted with Islam. We are acquainted with being poor. That's what I'm asking him to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are acquainted with ourselves being a very poor people, not having a whole lot of people. Jesus didn't have a whole lot of people. And I've seen Islam uh, more farther down than what it is now, yes, the nation of Islam. Yes, sir. When you see the nation of Islam, 
with one or two people, you can just bet on what the uh, book says. If ever there's a road going down, there's one going up. Right. That's right. So give us all you got. I know you ain't going to do that, but I'm asking for it. <laughs> give as much as you can to help us out. We need help. We need help. When you give charity, when you give your, uh, that's next to prayer, next to prayer, and I pray that you get plenty more for next time. It's a very, very hard job to carry out. Yes, sir. But by his will, we shall overcome. That's right. I wouldn't care if some rich man would come by and drop off a million dollars. He don't have to give us a whole lot of it. Just one million, you know. Right. That's right. And what I would do with that one million dollars with just you. Yes, sir. We would shake the world. That's right. We got one supposed to come up. Yes, sir. So Master Farad told us years ago, I have been watching him. I haven't seen him yet. One come here and mention it to me, but he haven't uh, did no good. He came talk to me as though if it was him, but He got upset with himself too much, I guess, and went away. Well, that's it. We have a man that one day going to give us what we want. That's right. That's right. That's right. He is a black man. Yes, sir. Not a devil. He's a black man, and I'm looking for him. Every time I see a new brother come in, I look at him. No, that ain't him yet. <laughs> yes, sir. He gonna come in and sit down, and when I look at him, then I hear that little voice like Elijah said, this is the one. Yes, sir. Was it Elijah? No, that wasn't Elijah, was it? That was uh, Samuel when he went to choose David, right? Yes, sir. To be king of Israel. When the little fella come up there, the last one of the brothers and stood up in the yard after Samuel had looked around and he saw the plate to and down at the head of the table and nobody sitting there, he asked him, he says, uh, have you got another brother? Yes, sir. They say, yeah, say, he's a little boy out there uh, watching the sheep. He said, I shall not sit down, not until he comes here, too. That's right. He said, go get him. When the brother David there, he stood out in the yard with a stick that he beat the leaves for the sheep. He stood there and he looking at him. And when Samuel saw him, he said he heard the voice of the Lord said, this is him. Yes, sir. That is king of Israel. Yeah. Well, that 
was Elijah Muhammad, the king. That was him. Yes, sir. No other king has ever done for Israel what Elijah done. Right. I don't mean the Israel. I don't mean the Israel of the uh, Jews. That's right. <clears throat> that whole story was us. Yes, sir. The messenger told me. He says, brother. He says the whole story is us, not the Jews back there, because they never was a slave under no man. And then the Bible tells you, right. says that they said themselves that we've never been under bondage to no man. That's right. So, we wasn't talking about them. We wasn't talking about the one that Moses went and freed in the hillside of Europe. Not them. It is us who live the jungle life. That's right. I was glad that Brother Omar mentioned us living the jungle life. Brothers and sisters, I think you have heard enough. And uh, I thank Allah for you, and I thank you for what you give. May Allah bless you. <clears throat> I pray that you cup run over, not with coffee, <laughs> but with some bread. That's right. Yes, sir. <laughs> I pray that Allah bless you. That your pockets yes, sir. be filled with folding money. Yes, sir. Not jingling money. That's right. Folding money. Yes, sir. If it's going to jingle, let it be gold. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. The preacher says it's sin to be rich. You should do But... <laughs> Master Farad didn't teach us that way. He said, get all you can. Yes, sir. Make your pockets look like you've got two footballs in there. That's right. See a man standing up. <laughs> <laughs> the man got his hand in his pocket swell like that. So, well, see another man, he's the same way, black man, same way. What's the matter with him? Man, don't you know? That's money in their pocket. They ain't no playing no games or nothing. That's money in there. Yeah? Where did they get it from? Well, that's a promise that was made by Allah. And he put it there. Of course, when you get it like that, don't go out and speak now. Right. <laughs> Stay home and count it. <laughs> don't go any place with it. So that is the main thing today. That's what we need. I want money to buy land. I want money to build home. It seems to me that these people of a black millionaire don't want to build a home for the poor people. And they got plenty. Right. Right. They'd rather do something else with it. We have plenty black millionaires. Right. If you be with me, just you. That's you. Be with me, I'll give them hell. That's right. You 
you need to. No factory. There's one road over there on Woodland Avenue, Ford's factory. You got enough millionaires to operate that factory right here in this country. And these junkies or whatever we call them can go there and get a job. And with that job, with some land out here sold to them, you can get and sell them a lot right. really cheap after you get your money. That's right. And then help him to build him a nice house there. Then on that land, if you are in your place, give him a low tax, not a high tax. That's right. Because this is your brother. This is your land. That's what's in my mind. That's what the messenger had in his mind when he said land. He wasn't meaning just you go and buy yourself a lot. That's right. Let us get together and buy some lots. That's what he was saying. People's overlooked, poor John, but that's all right. That same man haven't went to anybody else because I haven't heard of him. Thank you, sir. Doing what we did just now, what we gave, that brought us a good ways to to one twenty three. <clears throat> Secretary asked for 150. Think we can make it 150? That's 27 more dollars. Think we can make it to 150 for the secretary? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. We need. Two more dollars. Twenty two. I am doing this, brother and sister, for you. That's right. That's right. It's for you. Right. I want everybody to know what I'm trying to do. I am trying to make it so that our children can go to school is for one of the greatest points at the present. And at the same time, we have cut up the pie in such a way that some go here, some go there, some go there. And we want to have some land where we can put business at. That's right. Sure. If we only sell uh, one pound of rice and one pound of navy beans to ourselves That's right. at a start. That's what I want to do. I want to see it so 
that we can have and show to the world what we want. Right. right. That's right. right. Now, here is the next thing that I want to let you know. I have a brother that I'm supposed to hear from. And this brother wants to come here. And uh, air us out of old pioneers. And we'll be on the uh, on the air, be aired over what you call that thing? Cable. Cable. That's right. Cable. I'm, I keep saying, thinking in my mind, radio, cable, and that will take up New York. Philadelphia and Chicago and another big state. Do I forget the name now that he said? I might be calling these wrong, but anyway, I'll get word back from him again. And uh, I want Muslims from other places, if you should see them come. They want to be here. They want to come here. If this happens, that's what the brother told me, if it happens, they want to come here because they feel that I'm the oldest man can answer their questions. That's right. I want, as he asked me, old pioneers, not like those that was in uh, Ohio, not them no pioneers. That's them right, no. that's right. Them children over there playing in the backyard shooting marbles. Yes, sir. Right. Pioneers. And if we can get it over, we might find a man that will help us. Yes, sir. And not only that, now I can't go too far with that now because the, I got to talk with the brother again. You understand me? That's right. That's right. Because he's not in this city. And it costs money for people to call, you know, long distance and talk an hour with you. That costs a lot of money because the telephone don't never say that's enough. That's right. They keep on saying, that's all right. Let's talk some more. That's so, right. <laughs> That's right. You can't. It, it never says enough. So the next thing I want to know is, I want to have another on air. Thank you. Wait, brother, come back. That's okay, I see it now. That's okay, thank you, thank you. We thank you for $158. That brings us to a good, good point with such few people. And uh, that will bring us to a good point to help to pay our bills. Remember, keeping this, <laughs> keeping this building warm for school children and little children, bees in here from morning and got to wait until evening to go home. We don't want them to be cold. That's right. That's right. If they get cold, that's a doctor bill probably. And little, we got we got little small ones that's come here. One, when I be upstairs there sometimes, follow me all over around up there. Just little little baby, yeah, follow me all over. And I say hello, pretty, and she'll follow me, all, <laughs> follow me all around. <laughs> so. Uh, we want to, 
And we are not only want to do that, we want to get a school. That's right. We want the city to give it to us. That's right. That's right. And uh, don't worry, I won't say that. But don't worry, I know the word to put to them if they if they start arguing. Yes, sir. Uh, I got I got the water zone as we used to say, and it's boiling. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. It's gonna stay hot until I get what I want. It didn't get cold if it water. <laughs> Yes, and that's true, brother. So we, uh, we today is working hard. We have our paper. You know what? Uh, the devil, some of them, don't want to print what I say. That's right. That's right. They don't want to do that. We're waiting on it now. I told you last Sunday our paper went to press, right? Yes, sir. Well, it's slow. Our people don't own a press. We don't have a black press owned by black people. And they are small or something. Don't cost all that kind of money to have a press. Imagine you had one. People work there. Hang on to the tail of my coat and you'll have one. I am not after playing. I played when I was shooting marbles, me and my brother John and my brother Johnny there, I played then. When I was saying Vantum John, you know it wasn't like fan or what they got now, you know, it says fan or something with now with me. We said Vantum. <laughs> Cleaners, you know, you say rotation, you know. You make a well, we was we was shooting marbles at that time. I wanna shoot some bucks. Yes, sir. That's right. No, me and a reindeer now. No, I'm talking about money. We gonna get it. That's right. We're going to ask everybody, not just you, we're going to ask everybody, these big fellows with money, we're going to ask them for some of it. Don't give it, then we do it ourselves and give him a good whipping if he comes there. Right, right, right. right. I want everybody here that's registered with us for call meeting Saturday. Call meeting Saturday, the 18th, at 10 a.m. to 12 noon. There won't be any MVT, nor any FOI. We will be here for 10 o'clock sharp. Saturday morning, and we want every registered Muslim here. I want to see everyone. If you're working, get sick for two hours, and come here, and you get well. Then you go back to your job. Then next Sunday. I think I'll give Brother Omar another chance next Sunday. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Give him another chance next Sunday. So, Brother Minister Omar, sharpen your sword. I'll be sitting way in the back. You won't reach me. <laughs> but I want you to... Uh, Shake your coattail. <laughs> I want you to get you a real good one out of message to black man again. And shake it. I shake mine sometime around Satan's day, I guess. Yes, sir.
<laughs> Let them do it. That's right. Re read what I'm read what I'm writing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, I thank you, brothers and sisters. The time has expired. It's four o'clock. So I thank you. It's two minutes after four. So I thank you. You got any questions that you want to ask? No questions to ask. Then the sisters have some pie and cake on the outside. Let's eat it up and uh, take some home. That's right. And Be ready for next Sunday. Bring somebody who has never heard Lost Founders we call so Master Omar can convert them. I don't think the brother here is a Lost Found brother. He's a Muslim brother. Thank you. I thought you was. Yes, sir. Because we say Muslim by, by uh, in that manner because of Christians. I, I want to leave this with all of you. We say Muslims by Christian. If I say this brother, is you a Muslim brother? And you say, yes. If you say no, then I say you're a lost found brother with us. Now, why we answer that way is because of Christians. And that I will explain more to you some other times concerning Christian because we can't be a Christian. Right. So may Allah bless you all and give to you your wish. Let us stand. There's no question. Let us stand and face the east and uh, hold our hands in this manner. Repeat after me within yourself. In the name of Allah, the beneficent the merciful. All praise is due be Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. The beneficent the merciful. The master of the day of judgment in which we now live. Thee do we serve and thee do we beseech for thine help. O Allah. Guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor of those who go astray after they have heard thine teachings. Say he, Allah, is one. Allah is he of whom nothing is independent but upon whom we all depend. He begat us not, nor is he begotten, and there is none like him. And I bear witness that none deserve to be served but Allah. And I bear witness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean, Brothers and sisters, when you leave here, wherever you go, do nothing unto no one that you would not have done unto yourself. <laughs> treat everybody right. Even old blue-eyed dog, treat him right. Because he'll bite you. Right. I saw I'm like Come up and shake Minister Omar's hand and Minister John's hand.